Hello. Can you hear me? Please drop the message if you can hear me, okay? Okay, fine, sir. Okay, fine. Yes. Okay. Fine, fine. Okay. Uh, a very well good morning. Uh, I hope you all are doing well. I'm so excited. I'm so happy to be with you all. You know, uh, I'm here to share some, some sort of, uh, you know, some striking informations and that, that can create some massive impacts in millions of students' life. You know, uh, actually, what we are doing, we are doing a great uh, job and we are doing something that's that's phenomenal. And, you know, with that, we can create massive impacts in millions of people's life, especially in case of students. You know, we are teaching them, we are educating them, we are uh, we are sharing. Uh, OK, you can hear you can hear. OK, we are sharing some great information with uh, the students and we are. You know, especially uh, when it comes to Europe, I hope you all are very much aware of everything what's happening and you all are, uh, you know, you all have some sort of idea about what we are doing and everything. Today, I'm going to spe uh, specify on one university. I'm going, I'm going to focus on one country, that's Slovenia. You know, all are very much aware of the deadlines. Uh, you know, we only have four or five days for the uh, to uh, for the recruitment for the enrollments and first of all let me tell you one thing if you have any inquiry if you have any queries uh, any pos uh, prospective students I uh, I hope many of the students uh, are part of this uh, webinar if you if you are willing to study in Slovenia if you are interested in studying in Slovenia my dear friend don't waste your time you know, we are running out of time and, you know, uh, just please submit your academic documents. Please submit a uh, passport and the all details available with you. And, you know, my team will support you my, uh, and my offices will support you. And it's, you know, we are running out of time. If you are interested to study in Slovenia, this is the best time. Please don't waste your time. OK. OK. First of all, today we will start with a. A short video of the city where we are going to concentrate or uh, the city where we are going to uh, you know uh, speak more about it's Lublahan it's in Slovenia and you know let me start uh, let's start with the video please please stay tuned to the video okay
I hope you all watch the video. And this is the city where we are going to focus. And this is the city where we are going to concentrate. Ibrahan. You know, we have a great university, University of Maribor. I hope more of, uh, you know, many of our team members are very much aware of the university. It's a very good university. It's a great university. And, you know, very reason at the time of COVID, you know, when all, all others are shutting their uh, curtains down, they all are retiring from business, you know. We are doing some massive recruitment. We are doing some great works. We are, we are empowering. We are recruiting more students. We are sending them to, you know, prestigious uh, universities in Europe. And that's what we are doing at the time of crisis. This is a great thing. And, you know, very reason my six students reached Slovenia in University of Maribo. They all dropped some great messages and they are so happy. At this point, my dear friend, we have four or five days left. Only four or five days left. Concentrate on University of Maribo. It's a great university with an overall ranking of, of uh, with, uh, with a 500 ranking. And, you know, when it comes to tourism and uh, uh, tourism and uh, hospitality management, they are one of the top 20 best universities in the world. It's University of Maribor in Slovenia. And, you know, when it comes to the fees, one of the, well, you know, one of the most economic package, one, one of the most economic university in Europe, only 3,000 uh, euro for tourism and hospitality management. Okay, many of my team members are asking myself, Monica from Jaipur Center, um, maybe we can get this video. Definitely, I will, uh, I will put the link here. Please go to the, uh, that, that, okay. You know, many of our team members asking me, sir, uh, we have MBA, the, we have IT, the, we have mechanical engineering, the, we have plenty of courses there. And why we are only concentrating on uh, this tourism and hospitality management? My dear friend, it's very simple. You please look at the location. Where is Slovenia? Slovenia is very near to Italy. Slovenia is very near to Austria. Slovenia is very near to... <coughs> Uh, Hungary, Slovenia is very close to Switzerland. This is the tourism hub. This is an international tourism hub. Let's, you know, that's the reason why we are concentrating on Slovenia, on University of Maribo, on this specific course, tourism and hospitality management. Actually, the campus of University of Maribo is in Maribo. But the campus for international students that is situated in Ljubljan, the, uh, the capital Ljubljan, the capital of uh, Maribor. That's the reason why we are concentrating on tourism and hospitality management in University of Maribor. You know, if we are, you know, if you people are uh, aware, you know, Switzerland is a crank, it's a cream destination, Italy, Austria, Hungary, these all are a cream destination for tourism. And why we, uh, you know, why we are concentrating on this country, why we are concentrating on this course, that's very simple. You know, we are very much committed. We are very much passionate. Uh, we, are, we are very much aware and we are very much serious in, uh, in our students' future also. When students are learning, I, I'm, you know, I, I shared that plenty of times you know, when, whenever our students are selecting a course, we must need two priorities. The first priority, the, the chance, the scope of that university in that course. The second priority, the scope of the course in that country. These are very important factor. These are very, very, very important. You know, when we are putting students to, to this university, actually, that's a tourism hub. That's a hub for hospitality and tourism management. And, you know, when our students reach the destination, they are so happy. You know, we have plenty of uh, uh, what we can say, uh, uh, you know, um, reviews from our students, those who are already studying the, the uh, and, and those who are already reached. The, that's the reason why we are concentrating tourism and hospitality management. And another advantage in case of Slovenia, we all know that, you know, if a student is, uh, is, is going to study in Slovenia for bachelor's, he'll be having three years bachelor's and after that two years master's. 
this is enough for getting pr in slovenia i'm challenging each and everyone i'm challenging i'm requesting all we don't have an option like this you know most of our students those who are going to abroad those who are planning to study in europe they all are very much concerned about pr most of the students are asking me sir how can i get pr sir what are the requirements to get pr it's very simple my dear friend it's very simple if a student is enrolling there for bachelors he will be having three year bachelors and two year masters that's enough to get pr the study times are counted to get and they are eligible for pr the study times are uh, uh, you know they are counting for pr this is a great option when it comes to students aspect when it comes to students concern you know the this is a golden opportunity i'm 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 very much confident they will get an another option like this you know if in case of us after the students uh, after completing the uh, masters and bachelor students will have to uh, stay there for minimum 10 years in case of germany 5 years most of the countries have certain kind of you know uh, uh, requirements to get into the uh, to to get pr in case of slovenia it's very easy it's very simple that's the reason why we are promoting this university why we are promoting this country and i'm 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 very confident we are the exclusive partner for uh, university of maribor and in case of slovenia we are the exclusive recruitment partner in slovenia and my dear friend what i'm telling you know if you have prospective students and those who want to study and and one thing also the this is going to be the last recruitment of the year most of the universities are closed they all stopped the enrollment process and application process and everything and this is the last university of the year and we have 4 to 5 days it's you know i i already shared that we are running out of the time please try to put maximum students and please try to enroll maximum students to slovenia the yeah i shared that it's very easy to get pr and very good university you know when it comes to hospitality and tourism management they are they are the pioneers in the industry they are pioneers in this course they are you know they are ranked uh, top 20 in hospitality and tourism management in overall uh, you know when it comes to overall ranking uh, they are ranked in 400 to 500 that's the reason why we are concentrating on university of maribor in slovenia okay what about ielts okay at the time of application most of the students are asking this sir ielts is mandatory and why <laughs> why i have to go my dear friend my humble suggestion you know to get pr to get an easy pr you only want to do one thing it's please attend the ielts please attend the ielts and you know you only need a qualifying score of 5.5 it's very i hope it's very easy to get you know most of the most of our students are studying english and you know they all are all, all are the part of this learning system english learning system since their childhood and i hope it's very, it will be very easy you know at the time of actually university doesn't need any kind of ielts or any kind of english certifications this is a requirement of embassy university you know when it comes to the university they uh, they are not asking any ielts or anything like that this is only you know only embassy this is a requirement of embassy and what i am telling you my dear friend we only need this ielts document at the at the end at the time of submission when a student is enrolling today he have Uh, two to three months to attend the ielts and to to get just 5.5 it's very easy i hope it's uh, i hope it will be very easy and what i'm telling you know uh, ielts is not mandatory uh, you know uh, uh, it's it's not a criteria for university it's the criteria of the country it's the criteria for the embassy okay course fee for ug and pg both are same 3000 euro UG and uh, uh, PG both the same three thousand euro per year. Okay, and if you have any kind of queries, and I hope uh, I hope many of the students are part of this uh, webinar, my dear friend. If you have any kind of queries, please please drop the uh, please dro uh, please drop your questions. Okay, and these all are. Uh, 
these are all about Slovenia and especially University of Maribor. We are concentrating on one course. It's tourism and hospitality management. You know why we are only concentrating that? It's it's a prime location. It's you know it's it's a prime university for tourism and hospitality management. That's the reason why we are concentrating on that course. And it's very uh, what about visa rejection? At the at the time at this moment, I'm very confident that we have hundred percentage visa success ratio. And you know students will be very much concerned about uh, you know getting the visa and all. My dear friend, it's very easy. My team will support you. They will, uh, you know, they will be with you uh, uh, from the point to the end, and all the updates they will share with you, and they will assist you. Okay, don't worry. Uh, just leave it. Uh, just leave that question. Don't worry about visa rejection. That will be, you know, that's not a big deal for us. Uh, so, what about other expenses? Okay. Uh, you know, there'll be some kind of documentations and uh, and insurance and, you know, uh, some some little bit expenses, not that much expensive. OK. You know, uh, office will send you all the details regarding the expenses and everything. End to end, uh, one by one, they will share with you. There is any scope in MBA. OK, Arun, that's a great question. Actually, university is running a course called business management and, you know, uh, MBA but at this moment we are not concentrating on such programs we are you know we are not recruiting for those programs that's only because that's a hub of tourism University of Maribor and, and Slovenia especially Ljubljan is a hub of tourism you know when our students getting into the university I told you I told you when when a student is is you know is planning to study in abroad he he must need to main considerations the first one the scope of this university in that course and the second one uh, the scope of uh, of this course in that country that's the reason why we are only concentrating in tourism and hospitality management you know their faculty is very much uh, collaborative they are doing a great job you know uh, after within one or two days you will get the offer letter and everything okay what about uh, yeah, what about the living expense great question you know, Lublahan is a tourism hub. It's a tourism uh, hub of Europe. It's it's a it's a great destination. I will I will show the video once more. It's a great destination, and you know when it comes to the expense, it's uh, ten thousand to fifteen thousand INR. It's it's very cheap. That mm, not that much expensive. Okay. What about IT related courses? Yeah, you know we have some programs there, but right now we are only recruiting for uh tourism and hospitality management in bachelors and masters okay right now we are not concentrating in such programs i told you many times that's only because that's a tourism hub learn from the adobe that's the strategy what i really love that's the strategy what i'm sharing with students all the time when you're learning something learn from the adobe you know hungary switzerland italy austria this is a cream destination for tourism and hospitality that's the reason uh, we are promoting we are promoting students to get enrolled to tourism and hospitality management and i told you if a student is enrolling for bachelors you know it's very easy to get pr after completing bachelors and uh, you know uh, and after completing the masters that's it uh, you know he will get uh, so what about um, part time job and uh, part time job you know when it comes to lublahan it, 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 it it's a capital it's a potential location. It's a cream destination in Europe. Uh, you know, I have many students there. They are all putting a great review. That's not, uh, you know, getting part time is not a big deal. It's very easy. And, you know, our students will get uh, when the classes will start. You know, classes will start very soon. And, you know, um, uh, uh, maybe first two months will be in online. And after that, uh, by the students started flying. Many students reach now, you know, Last day itself, our six students reached Slovenia. And when they get the visa, they can go. Okay. So uh, the first two months will be uh, students, those who are applying right now, uh, you know, the first two months will be in, in online. And after that, uh, they will get into the. Um, when they get the visa, they will reach the university and university will provide the offline classes. Any language problem? No. Ah, 
and another unique feature of Slovenia, you know, uh, once again, uh, another unique uh, feature in Slovenia is, you know, Slovenia is the second largest English speaking country in Europe, second largest English speaking country. That's a big deal for the students. There is no any kind of, you know, for for many long years, you know, they were the colony of Germany and Germany uh, concentrated on manufacturing cars and uh, uh, cars and they, they they put some great investments in, uh, you know, mm, manufacturing. And that's the reason they bought many people from around the world. And, you know, the culture which they are following is a multicultural. And that's a great deal to get into the get into Slovenia. And it, there is no any kind of language issues. And I told you, Slovenia is the second largest English speaking country. OK, so kindly repeat work permit and PR. And I told you, you know, uh, you know uh, work permit, they will get uh, when they reach there, they will get the work permit and PR if, okay, once more, steady times will be calculated for PR. Most of the countries, most, the 90 percentage of the countries are not calculating their uh, bachelor's, master's times to the PR. Suppose if a student who is pursuing, uh, who want to pursue bachelor's in tourism and hospitality management, you know, he'll, uh, the student will be having three years of uh, bachelor's and after that two years of masters if a student stayed in slovenia for five years he will easily get the pr that's the unique 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 aspect in case of slovenia especially in case of university in maribo only five years and the study times will be calculated for the pr okay i'm confused in between travel and tourism and mba uh, and I'm giving most probably in UK for another Euro countries. Give me a suggestion for which is the best, which is the better, which have more scope. Okay, my dear friend, I told you, you know, when you learn something, learn from the adopt. Tourism and hospitality, travel and tourism is a great course when it comes to Europe. You know, when you, when you look at the GDP and when you look at the, uh, you know, tourism industry, actually the backbone of uh, Europe is tourism. They are very much committed to that industry. And that's the reason, you know, uh, you get into the map of Europe, you can see Slovenia is very near to Italy, Hungary, Austria, and Switzerland. This is the tourism hub of Europe. Cream destination for tourism. And when you are learning, this goes from its adobe. I hope you you are you are very much aware about what i'm telling that's that's a great program you know uh, going to uk it's a it's a good decision but you know that will be a little bit expensive and you know for getting pr it will be very much risky and that's the reason why i'm telling you slovenia is the best option for you okay uh so faculty of tourism in <laughs> no Faculty of Tourism is, is in Ljubljana, is in Ljubljana. For, uh, you know, the the campus is in Brazais, but the, uh, you know, uh, the campus for international students, the uh, University of Maribos campus for international students is located in Ljubljana, okay? Uh, how many working hours allow on student visa? Okay, you know, Working hours for, you know, you can work um, uh, minimum 20 hours per week, okay, 20 hours per week. And, you know, when you are a committed worker, you know, you are in a, you are in a very good relationship with your boss or your company. They will never look at the clock and tell you, ah, it's over, it's over, time up, time up, you please get out. That's not, you know, that's not, <laughs> that will never happen. If you are doing whatever you, you are doing with, a real sense and with a real taste you can you can live a great life there traveling and tourism is down due to COVID-19 okay uh, let me <laughs> you know I'm very happy to share a video uh, one second one of my partner he's uh, you know right now he's in Czech Republic uh, he recently, two weeks before, he traveled to uh, Europe 
and you know he shared a video uh, uh from from flight and actually this is a video you can see this is the condition of europe right now a flight filled with travelers and they are not even using the mask they are not even using the mask actually you know the europe totally recovered the situation and you know they opened visiting visas to many countries and my dear friend what i am telling right now you are studying you are studying bachelors or masters you know when the vaccine will come when the vaccine is out there is no these questions are not that much i don't know what to say after degree program uh, is candidate eligible to post study work permit yeah you know uh, university of maribor is one of the best university in Slo in slovenia and you know they are they are putting some massive uh, recruitment also and that's very easy to get uh, work permit and that's very easy to uh, you know part of the industry after you complete the masters or bachelors okay uh, i'm a graduate i have to study master so i have only 2 years first study if this goes possible okay in this case okay if you are going uh, if you are uh, enrolling for masters you know there'll be two years of masters and there'll be an additional one year of stay back and uh, I'm, I'm i'm very much confident in that case you know uh, after the masters you will be get placed to uh, you will be placed in uh, in any companies and that's enough if you are getting placed my dear friend you know for additional two years if you can stay there for additional two years that's that's enough for the pr okay then what's the next question so what about scholarships like erasmus yeah you know uh, university of maribo have uh, you know they are, they are they are doing a massive work they are doing a great job in you know when it comes to exchange program and erasmus and everything if you are if if if, if you can perform in a in a better way you uh, you know they have lots of scholarships you please do one thing you please get into the website of university of maribo and you can find many scholarships for international students and everything and you know they have many exchange programs with uh, more than 180 universities and you and you can uh, study some uh, semester in in germany or netherlands or or wherever you want okay what is the scope of part time jobs my dear friend that already i share with you actually ljubljana is tourism hub it's a tourism hub and you know that's very easy to uh, get part time and everything uh, you know if if you are coordinating with my branches they will give some reference and everything i, I have many students there they are all are very positive and you know uh, they all are very happy and i feel so privileged i am so happy to listen such comments from my students okay uh, then so if married couple wants to apply if they get the spouse visa is spouse visa allowed for full time okay there is no uh, you know there is no options like spouse visa in slovenia they both can enroll to any program you know age that doesn't matter you know university is uh, supporting very much if you have if you are a potential student you know please contact with the nearest branch as soon as possible and get into the university okay age that that will never be an issue and what i'm telling you know uh, spouse visa that's not an we don't have an option like that slovenia is not providing such visas i'm telling you both uh, the uh, both the couples get into the uh, masters or bachelors and you know that's not an expensive slovenia is not that much expensive only 3000 euro something like that and after completing uh, masters or bachelors you know they will get the pr and minimum part time wage it depends on uh, what job you are doing and you know minimum 5 euro to 6 euro that's the wage you can expect from him. how much gap acceptable my dear friend that's not a big deal they, uh, don't worry about the gap please coordinate with the team please coordinate with the nearest branch they will support you okay and if you are if you are really interested if you are very much passionate on studying in slovenia and especially in university of maribor please contact with the nearest branch please put an enrollment in my website or wherever you want 
and you know gap and you know such things please please don't get worry about those things okay then you know what i am confident what i am confident if if you are completing the documentation process right now if you are uh, completing the whole process you can travel to slovenia on the next day i have many students who traveled recently um, to slovenia okay minimum part time wage i already shared that okay put all your questions i am so happy to uh, respond okay so what is minimum wage in slovenia i already uh, shared with that uh, uh, already shared that it depends on what you are doing and you know it will be uh, between uh, uh, 5 euro 6 euro something like that it, that will be so weekly how many classes 3 uh, to 4 days okay 3 to 4 days per day uh, you know 2 uh, hours 3 hours like that then next put all your doubts my dear friend i really i really love the people those who are asking questions okay you know when you are asking we have many people in this webinar they all are getting clear they are getting a good picture about what is slovenia and how how to study and everything mm, then is there any intake in january my dear friend there is no intakes available in january especially in case of slovenia the only they only have september intake and the deadline they already uh, uh, recently announced the web, uh, the deadline the dates that september 9th we only have four days we only have four days if you are really interested my dear friend we don't have time to waste please get into the uh, application process okay we don't have january intake then next question can we travel to austria my dear friend you are getting schengen visa you know when you uh, you know i i think you are very much aware about what is eu and what is schengen and everything you are getting a schengen visa and frequently you can you know in off days and everything you can travel to austria to switzerland italy or wherever you want okay what about student card yeah you know when you are reaching the within within one week you will get the student card and everything okay next i'm waiting okay once more let's watch the video of the so can we apply to slovenia definitely you can apply with a distance degree okay there is no any kind of issues you know we are going to uh, i'm going to play the video once more please watch the video once more okay you can see the potential the beauty of the city where i'm speaking about you can you can really uh, you know experience how much potential and you can compare ljubljana with zurich and you can compare ljubljana with vienna bratislava they have that much quality many of the people are not aware of the potential of ljubljana okay so when will we get the work permit okay you know actually uh, you know trp when you have trp temporary residence permit that's enough to work in slovenia or wherever in europe and you know uh, when you reach the uh, within one week you will get all the document you will be complete uh, you know you will be get completed with the all documentation process and everything okay okay let's let's watch the video dear part, uh, participants if you have any kind of queries please drop the message okay i'll be i'll be getting back after the video
uh, I dropped the link in come uh, you know in chat area. You uh, you can get the uh, link from there. Okay. Any any questions? If you have any kind of queries, please drop your message. Okay. Okay. Uh, you know. Stay back. Yeah, one year. You will get one year stay back there. That's a good, good question. Anything more? I'm so happy with you with you all. And you know, I'm very thankful to see you all, see you all in this webinar. Uh, Somebody is typing. You know, let's ask. Let's ask. This is the only way to make clarity to make clear on what we are doing and what we are learning okay great information okay thank you i'm i'm so privileged i'm so happy to be with you all and my dear friend at last one thing we only have four days if you are a prospective student if you're really interested to get into slovenia if you are really uh, interested to be a part of one of the most prestigious university in the world my dear friend, time is running out. It's 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 your time, and now the ball is in your court. Take a decision as soon as possible. You know the you know you can get many many plenty of uh, you know details from Google and everywhere. Please get all the details and as soon as possible. If it possible today, enroll today, and my team, my office, and everyone will support you. And at the end. My dear friend, I'm so happy to be with you all. Thank you. Thank you. Anyway, see you, see you soon. Bye. Love you all. Bye. On degree there is no kind of percentage don't worry about that if the student is prospective please put them okay don't worry in kind of percentage or something like that okay anyway bye for now